Everyone wanted to turn right, sail away from Drake's Island. This rate, they're all... Whoa! Oh, no! Skeleton it in! There. Too high, lost control of the boat. What a moment! Sitting down here in this lovely little seat is where the uh, flight controller resides. So he's um, got a pretty interesting job of he is completely focused on the right height of the boat, looking through the trampoline here at the opposite side bow, so the front of the boat on the opposite side. And his role is um, effectively, I guess his job description is to fly the boat one to 1.2 meters above the water at all times and don't get it wrong. Uh, if he's too low, you're going a bit slower, you're creating a lot more drag. If he's too high, you're either sliding sideways or you're going into one hell of a nosedive. So he uh, controls the lured foil uh, with this wheel. Um, they call it the pepper cracker as well because it's a bit, bit pepper crackerish. But he, um, yeah, he, he's playing the, the rake on the other side of the boat the whole time constantly, and he'll be moving that non-stop. So that's a, a, a constantly moving, I guess, target. Uh, he has a screen here, which has all his info and all the data that he needs um, to assist with his role. And then on the, all the buttons here as well, he has um, all the rudder angles and differential changes that he can do. Uh, some of the flight controllers also pop the wing during a maneuver. Um, and then on the other side is another wheel which directly controls this foil when it goes down. So every maneuver he is um, effectively flying both, both boards, doing two things at once and uh, yeah, having a good crack at it. Moving over here, he has all his presets. So he's got about four different modes for um, uh, all your maneuvers. So your tacks and your jibes. He's got an upwind mode and a downwind boat mode. So he puts the boat in upwind mode. He, does all his configurations for his tacks, I guess. And so what he changes is the angle that the board drops at and the, I guess, type of um, energy that he's using as well. So it's all hydraulic, but he's got an accumulator which he can tap into. He's got, I guess, a natural airdrop he can sort of use. And that's all coded through the boat's computer. And um, yeah, he just has all his presets here that he can change on the flyer whenever he likes. And um, usually you just, sort of dialing that in at the start of the day and then leaving it for, for the day until the conditions change or something like that. Um, the all important protest button, that's a big one. Apparently they don't want to put it on the skipper's wheel and we all probably know why that is. It's an awkward position to get to so you've really got to pick the time to push that protest button. Uh, also a man overboard button so hopefully that never happens. <laughs>